Originally, I had planned on making a video discussing the PvP vehicle rebalance that is coming sometime soon to G10 line, and ultimately what, in my opinion, should be done with the Presser Mark II, along with a bunch of other rebalance concepts. But as I thought about a Mark II nerf, another idea popped into my head. What if the way that hoeing missiles work in G10 line was reworked entirely? The biggest problem with the Presser Mark II is that its missiles are so good that it can take out almost any vehicle with ease, while only a select few vehicles can really do anything about it and fight back. What if everything we knew about hoeing missiles in G10 line was just completely abolished for a more logical system? The way that missiles have worked in G10 line has always been really strange. In most air vehicles, there is no lock-on time. The moment you get that green box with that initial beep, you can fire and the missile will track. And for some vehicles, they track much better than others off that initial beep, which is where you see helicopters and planes fall off in their ability to fight off some of the better tracking hoeing rocket vehicles and also the Mark II. Imagine every single vehicle that fires homing missiles in GT Online now requires a full lock-on in order for it to home in on them, meaning you would have to retain line of sight on your target until that red box comes on, and in return, the missile you fire with a full lock attains full-on of Presser Mark II tracking, so it has a very, very high chance of hitting the target. Every vehicle in the game with homing missiles would now have access to top-tier tracking missiles. Along with this, the time to lock on would be increased by a few seconds to make it a bit harder to get that full lock, because they do get full lock on rather quick. The Hoeing Missile Launcher would also take this change into effect with an even longer lock-on time than the vehicles, so from on the ground you have a fighting chance against whatever might be thrown at you. Now I'm sure some of you guys are thinking that would be complete AIDS and you don't want to see that at all, but think about this for a second. If this is how all the missiles worked, would the Mark II still be considered overpowered? If any air vehicle that could shoot Hoeing Missiles could track down and shoot a Mark II with a full lock-on, would the Oppressor Mark II really be overpowered at that point? Helicopters and vehicles with countermeasures would become a whole lot more useful as they should be. Helicopters and aircraft like jets and planes that have countermeasures and rockets, those should be the kings of the sky, not the oppressor. And countermeasures in general would become a whole lot more useful, especially the chaff, because there'd be no instantaneous lock and fire anymore, so you wouldn't have to pop the chaff ahead of getting into lock-on range with the target. Countermeasure timing and your positioning in the air would matter so much more in aerial combat. You'd have to try to break line of sight so you don't get locked onto, and that would create a really fun dynamic, I think. Would this possibly create some underlying balance issues in the process? Probably, because it would be such a drastic change in how 95% of activities are performed by spamming homing missiles, but it is a very interesting concept to think about. Helicopters without countermeasures would obviously need some sort of protection against rockets for sure, but just in general, I feel like going forward with something like this would make balancing a whole lot easier in the future, where everything is streamlined, because right now, some vehicles have terrible tracking missiles, some have decent tracking, some have insanely good tracking that rarely miss when locked on, it's just all over the place, and it creates a mess when trying to balance it. And this concept kind of goes by the approach of, if everything is powerful, then nothing is powerful, you know? But let me know what you guys would think if they reworked towing missiles entirely to work like this instead. Obviously, it's highly unlikely at the end of the day, but it is fun to visualize and think of these concepts and how they would impact the game. I'm going to be doing another video talking about the infamous PvP rebalance that they're going to be doing, giving some thoughts on what I think need to be changed. That'll probably be out either later this week or early next week, and it's probably going to be a long one, I can imagine, because there's kind of a lot I have to say there. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTL Line content. Again, let me know what you think about this concept in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.